Hi friends and welcome to Little Woods Art. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this rainbow and movable kite. What you will need are markers, paper, scissors, some tape, and a crayon or two. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is draw your rainbow. So we're going to draw two clouds towards the bottom. I'm gonna add some bumps in there for texture. Now a rainbow is a certain order of colors. It's Roy G. Biv. That's one way to remember it. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Indigo is kind of like a blue. It's in between blue and purple. So we'll just do blue and purple. You want to draw a nice big arch so you have plenty of room. First I'm just going to draw some guidelines in the order of the colors. So red is first, then orange, and these are parallel lines. If they're not perfect, don't worry about it. Okay. Then yellow, then green. Then blue. Oops, I'm a little skinny, so I'm just gonna fix that. And violet. Now you'll find out when you color these that you're gonna have to draw one more line to have it violet. Because as you color them, this will be red, this will be orange, this will be yellow, this will be green, this will be blue. So you need one more purple line. It's a guideline. Okay, now we're going to color these in. Now that we have the rainbow done, let's work on the kite. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half, Take your pencil, and we're just going to draw half the kite. So it's like a diamond. So the top half is shorter, and then angle down the longer half. Take your scissors. And there you have your kite shape. Now a kite usually has a couple cross pieces. It has one at least right there, and one down the middle like that. You could decorate your kite any way you want. You could use stripes, polka dots. Um, obviously in this one, I redid the rainbow theme. So you could do that as well. I will let you decorate your kite how you would like. This one I'm just going to put some random dots on it for something different. I really like the rainbow one though, so I think a rainbow on top of a rainbow is kind of a neat idea. This is a polka dotted yellow, orange, brown kite. Now if you want and you have some yarn at home or string, you could make the tail of the kite with that. I did this one out of paper, so to make this one, you simply draw a straight line. And then you make the ties on both sides, almost like a train track. The nice thing about doing it this way is you get practice cutting. So if you're really good with scissors, using scissors, this is a fun thing to do. It takes a little bit of time, but I cut in between each of these. If you're not so good with scissors, you might want to just use a piece of string and tape some paper to it. 
or ask an adult to help you cut out your kite tail. So you just do that on both sides. Now I'm gonna do this kind of fast because I don't wanna take up all my time cutting this in front of you here. Take a piece of tape, tape it to your kite. Okay. And then I like to kind of bend it a little bit so it adds a little bit of realistic dimension to it. And then you put your kite anywhere you want and you could glue it on your paper or you could just put a piece of tape on the back of it, like this, make it into a loop, put it on the back, put your kite on there, and then if you want later, you can move your kite to a different place. And there you have it, a beautiful rainbow kite for a beautiful spring summer day. I hope you had fun. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel, Little Woods Art. Goodbye.